I feel the World Contenders Tournament has been a big step up for combat wrestling trivia overall, let alone for the competitors who were in it. It's given them a spotlight that they arguably didn't have before as players. This whole World Contenders Tournament has been absolutely insane. I actually, you know, I got to make my CWT debut in the tournament and it turned out a lot better than I thought it would, but uh, the tournament as a whole has just been absolutely amazing, getting to feature so many different I mean, competitors, including you know, former champions, top just top guys, and it has just been insane. I've absolutely loved it. I love it. I just love being being a part of it. And your winner. Nice job, bud. By knockout, Jacob Barber. He had all four correct. This one's very hard. Because Sean Redman, you know, he doesn't talk much, but when he does speak, he speaks with volume. When he speaks, he speaks of passion. Uh, like he has a great passion for wrestling, and he has a great passion for this game as well. The distinguished gentleman, Michael Turner, not only will he win the tournament, and this is all due respect to Sean, but not only I think he will win the tournament, but I think he will be your next CWT World Heavyweight Champion. Going on heart, Sean Redmond all the way. You ever going on pure knowledge, Michael Turner. And so it's just a matter of what shows up and has a stronger presence at the end of this tournament. Is it going to be the heart or is it going to be the brain? We'll find out. This isn't no joke. This isn't no game. These guys came to play. And whoever wins this tournament is going to be headed straight for the championship title. I can feel the energy. Yes, oh yes, oh yes, indeed. This is the finals of the World Contenders Tournament. Welcome back to Combat Wrestling Trivia. This is match number two of Undisputed. And we, oh man, what a doozy of a match that first match was. Oh, I'm so excited to be in this match. And this is our co-main event. This is the finals. And if you, you guys have been watching this tournament, I know I've been the host, but I watch each match over. And as a fan, uh, man, <laughs> no rhyming intended. Uh, the World Contenders Tournament, the winner will be the number one contender for the CWT Undisputed World Championship. And they will get their shot at Survivor. That is a breaking news right there, <laughs> if that hasn't been announced yet. Uh, so just know that that's when that will happen. Uh, we have our finalists here. Uh, like I said, if you watched this tournament, you know that these two individuals brought the fire. And in the regular, in the in the in the semifinals matches, and even in the first round matches, they are proven why they could be the champion. So the fact that they're in the finals right now just shows what they can show. That shows what they could do as Survivor. So I'm going to go ahead and start introducing. Our finalist to you, very, very special moment for me. Uh, I love this. The first competitor uh, coming in this tournament, he he has expressed how much he loves this tournament. He expressed how much he loves the fact that people get opportunities outside of, you know, the, the top guys of the past. And um, I agreed with him. He is coming into this – he's coming into this tournament with a record – of four wins, one loss, and he made it to the finals of this tournament with flying colors. I introduce you the first finalist, Sean Redman. everything in this league. I will kill the promos, I will kill the matches. And Michael, Michael, in his first promo for this tournament, he mentioned about how he felt like he'd been disrespected in this league. Yeah, Michael, 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 you have not been disrespected by 
my friend. No, no, no. You see, disrespect. This having your first match, your debut match in CWT, winning that match quite convincingly, I might add. And then not having another match for ten goddamn months. That is disrespected. And there's only one person to blame for that. But we'll, we'll, we'll maybe get to that later. For now, this is about this match, the finals. Let's do this. Yeah, let's do this. Oh, man. Uh, there was some raw energy in those words, and I felt it. I got goosebumps. You can't see it because I'm wearing my nice jacket because this <laughs> is a special event. However, uh, I digress. That that blew my mind. That blew me away. I Absolutely. Uh, well, introducing our second finalist. He also blazed through this tournament, except, you know, Honestly, his finals match, you could call it a blaze through. His opponent was also blazing through, but he came out with the victory and he earned his spot to the finals. Uh, I give you, coming in with a record of three wins, one loss, he is the distinguished gentleman, Michael Turner. Field of wrestling trivia. Sean, you talk about disrespect because I mentioned it in my first promo. And you're right. Ten months without a match after your first win. Something to be a little heated about. And I think I know who you're heated to. And that's all well and good. But this day is all about redemption. You have one loss. I have one loss. Your one loss is to someone who is since retired, who is a manager for a champion that we'll get to perhaps a little bit later. My one loss is only to the world heavyweight champion, and I am now one win away from getting my rematch. Maybe we'll have to see what happens in the title match later tonight, but I want my redemption, and I want it against Matthew Rosa. Sean, much respect. You have played brilliantly up until now, but we got to go to war today because I'm one shot away. Let's do it. And I think those rhymes were intended. Woo! I love it. I love every single word both of these guys had to say. And uh, I'm ready to go to combat. They are ready to go to combat. I'm not even going to ask them. Obviously, they are ready. Uh, I'm going to explain the rules to round number one right now. I'm sure you know how it goes. Everyone knows how these goes. Eight questions, one point per question. If you lose or if you've missed a point, you don't lose anything. The strengths, uh, the strengths are being uh, taken into account for this match. 15 seconds uh, to answer each question. I know they're ready. Let's do this. We're going to go to question number one and question number one is going to be in the category of chikara mm -hmm. question who was the first chikara grand champion Answers in five, four, three, two, and one. Pins down. Sean. Eddie King. And Michael. King of Diamonds, Eddie Kingston. Eddie Kingston is correct for one point to each of you. 
Yes, indeed. Eddie Kingston just recently appearing on <clears throat> AEW Dynamite. Wrestling Cody. I personally enjoyed that match. I enjoyed his promo. Uh, question number two, and this is going to be in the category of the WWE Championship. Question. Who was the very first wrestler to complete the Triple Crown by winning the WWE Championship? Now, I'm talking about uh, the Triple Crown that's, you know, world title, two mid-card titles. Who was the first wrestler to complete it by winning the WWE Championship? Five, four, three, two, and one. Sean. Well. All right, and Michael? I'm Bret Hart. Bret Hart is correct for one point. Great job, guys. Uh, he is the very first one to win it. Other people, uh, most win the world title first. Uh, it's very unique nowadays for that to happen. Uh, Actually, going into this question, I thought it was a different answer. So I learned something. <laughs> question number three is going to be in the category of NXT. Question number three. Which wrestler was the NXT Women's Champion for the most combined days? Five, four, three, two. Again, All right, we got an extension being used. Not a problem at all. That brings you down to two left. It's between two and I got the guy to win. All right, five, four, three, two, and one, we are going to, pins down, uh, Sean? If it's the other one, I'm going to be really annoyed. Shane the base one. All right, and Michael Turner? I said Oscar. All right, the correct answer is Shayna Baszler. Good job. Three points, Sean. Michael, you have two. Uh, Shayna Baszler, 548 combined days. Res recognized by the WWE, and Asuka's reign was 522. It was so close. <laughs> uh, but great job, Sean. We're going to go to uh, question number four, and it's going to be in the category of ladder matches. One of my favorite match types, ladder matches. Question. Who won the ladder match to become the WWE World Heavyweight Champion at Money in the Bank 2014? Mm -hmm. The answer is in five, four, three, two, and one. Pens down. Uh, what do you have, Sean? Um. John Cena. All right, and Michael. John Cena. The correct answer is John Cena. Great job, guys. I bring Sean to four, Michael to three. I'm so glad I looked that up this morning. <laughs> Question number five. Oh, my golly. This is going to be in the category of on this day. <laughs> I like this a lot more now that I'm a host. <laughs> Question number five. What was the first year that the WWE produced all of the big four events as pay-per-view events? What year did they produce all four of the big four as pay-per-view events? And obviously that's Royal Rumble, WrestleMania, SummerSlam, and Survivor Series. What was the first year for all of them? Five, four, three, two, and one. Pens down. Sean, what do you got? 1988. And Michael? 1989. 
The correct answer is 1989. Good job, Michael. Royal Rumble wasn't on pay-per-view until 1989. It was on USA in 1988. Oh, I get it. He is correct. I didn't know it was on USA, but I knew it wasn't on pay-per-view. Uh, that is tying the score up four to four. We're going to head into question number six now. And question number six is going to be in the category of the WWE 80s. WWE 80s. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I love that. I, it was like the golden age. It was like wrestling was allowed to be bad then, and you could love it. Like, you didn't have to worry about what we worry about in these times. <laughs> Question number six. Who challenged for the Intercontinental Championship at WrestleMania 4? Challenged for the Intercontinental Championship at WrestleMania 4. So, a reminder, uh, Michael has three extensions left. Sean has two. You need to roll a lot of work there, Michael. <laughs> and one pins down. Sean, what do you have? That would be Bruce the Barber Beefcake. And Michael Turner, what do you have? Bruce Beefcake. Bruce Beefcake is correct for five points for the each of you. Great job. Question number seven. This is going to be in the category of WCW early 90s. Uh, early 90s is what you would believe, 90 to 95. In my mind, I guess it's early 90s. <laughs> uh, question number seven, early 90s, WCW. Who was the WCW World Television Champion going into Bash at the Beach, 1994? The WCW World Television Champion going into Bash at the Beach 1994. We're going to need answers in about five, four, three, two, and one. Pins down. We're going to go to you first, Sean. Thank you, good guy. Thank you, Luke. All right, Michael Turner, what do you have? Lord Steven Regal? No, it's not because Clash Luca wasn't even there, man. <laughs> you are correct, Sean. The correct answer is Lord Steven Regal. That brings Michael to six, Sean, with five. Nice job. <laughs> I, I absolutely loved, I mean, obviously, William Regal is great, but I loved him in WCW. Oh, my golly. Hard hitting, hard, hard hitting. Yeah, Question number eight. Remember. <laughs> question number eight. This is going to be our last question around one, and it's going to be in the category of Bailey. Love me some Bailey. Bailey is cool. All right. Question number eight. Which WWE pay per view was the first main roster event that Bailey wrestled on? WWE pay-per-view was the first main roster event that Bailey wrestled on. All right, looking for answers in five, four, three, two, and one. Pins down. Sean? That would be the outcome memorable event on this battleground. All right, and Michael? Battleground. Battleground is correct. Great job, guys. We're going to close out round one. Michael with a score of seven. Sean with a score of six. Still anybody's game. Ready for round number two. Round number two is going to work like this, if you don't already know. Uh, the first part of this is going to be first. Uh, it's going to be four questions. All right. Uh, they're going to be two-part questions. And if you answer one part correct, you get the second part available. If you miss the question, your opponent has an opportunity to steal. Uh, strengths are used for these. And uh, I know the combatants are ready. Viewers, I hope you're ready. Try to play along in the comments if you can. I hope you're still here after our amazing first match. And so far from this second match, it looks like it's going to be just what it was hyped up to be. So... Question or round number two, question number one. This is going to go to you, Michael. All right. All right. Question number one in round two for you, Michael. 
At WrestleMania 2000, who walked in as the WWE Hardcore Champion? Oh, this is a guess. I'm going to guess Taz, two Zs. What was that? You said Taz? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm sorry. That is incorrect. Sean, chance to steal. Crash Holly. Crash Holly is correct. Good job. Point stealing it. Good job, Sean. For the bonus. Who won the hardcore battle royal? Very controversially, Hardcore Holly. Hardcore Holly is the correct answer for a stolen two points. Good job, Sean. Wow. And uh, question number two is uh, going to go straight back to you, Sean. Uh, you have now eight points. Um, I'm going to go ahead and give you this question right now. Question number two for you, Sean. Who was the special guest referee in the main event? of WrestleMania 15. Just make sure I'm thinking of the right here. Yes, I am. Mankind. Mankind is correct for one point and for your bonus. Who did he defeat to win this honor earlier in the night? Um, the Big Show. The Big Show is correct for point number two, bringing you to 10. Great job, Sean. We're gonna go to question number three now. This is gonna go back to Michael. All right. All right. For you, Michael, question number three. Who was one of the wrestlers that lost the main event of Hardcore Heaven, 1997? No, I can't get a I mean, if I count you down, you can. <laughs> okay. Eventually, I'll count you down, and then you can. So. Okay. Five, four, extension. Three. All right, we're gonna use his first extension for Michael. Give him some extra time to think. Who the one of the wrestlers? That lost the main event, Hardcore Heaven, 1997. I did not even think about that rhyming. This is like a whole rhyming <laughs> episode of CWT. I'm going to say the Sandman. Oh, I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Chance to steal, Sean. Well, be a complete guess. I'm probably wrong, but I'll say Tommy Dreamer. Tommy Dreamer is incorrect. I am sorry. Uh, the correct answers. Oh. <laughs> Because the bonus question was, who was the other? I don't know if you could figure that one out. Uh, the correct answers are uh, Sabu and Terry Funk. Uh, I don't remember that match. Was that the, uh, that was a three-way? I got you. Okay. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> All right. So 10 to 7 still. We're going to go into question number four. Oh. This one. What's that? Oh, this is still my friend question, isn't it? Uh, yeah, this is your this That's is it. your question. Yep, yeah, this is your question, Sean. All right, question for you. This is question number four for you, Sean. Who was the first wrestler to win the WWF Tag Team Championship with HBK? Eagle. That is correct for one point. For the bonus, who is the most recent wrestler to win the Tag Team Championship with HBK? Surprisingly, because of who they were, 
Triple H. That is correct for hitting the bonus. Good job. We are going into question number five now. The score: Sean has twelve points. Blistering second round. Michael still has seven. Uh, not a great second round for Michael, but not even close to over. And we're not even done with second round. Uh, the second round yet because we're going into question number five. <laughs> not even close. Question number five uh, goes like this. It's going to be a four-part, well, not a four-part question. It's going to be a regular question, but it's going to be worth from zero to four points. Uh, the players will hear the question. They will have 60 seconds to answer. Uh, they can only place four answers. Uh, they cannot try to answer 30 and then hope that four of them are correct. They know that. Uh, oh, so, wow. yeah. But there are no strengths. <laughs> there are no strengths uh, included in this. It's just a random question. And uh, they can use an extension for an extra 30 seconds. All right, so I'm going to go straight into question number five. And here it is. In 2007, TNA separated from the NWA and created the TNA World Heavyweight Championship. Who were the first four wrestlers to hold this title? You have 60 seconds. Go ahead and start beginning thinking now. TNA separated from NWA. They created the TNA World Heavyweight Championship. Who were the first four wrestlers to hold this title? Alright, got about 15 seconds left, guys. Time is up in five, four, three, two, and one. Pens down. We are ready to answer this question. Sean, what do you got? Pickle, pickle, pickle. I only know one of them. Quick and cake. And then three complete cake. I'll go <laughs> Bobby Luke, Angle, and AJ Styles. You actually got one, and it wasn't Christian. Uh, Kurt oh, Angle. <laughs> Kurt Angle is one of your correct answers. Michael, what did you have? Uh, I had Christian Gage as well. I had uh, Jeff Jarrett, Samoa Joe, Kurt Angle, and Christian. Will you put your answers up one more time? Yep, sorry about that. Oh, you're good. Kurt Angle. You said Jeff Jarrett. You said Christian. Yep. yep. Or in Samoa Samoa Joe, Joe. And Kurt Angle. You have two correct. It's Kurt Angle and Samoa Joe. Uh, I will give you the order of who won this, uh, the wrestlers that won this championship. Uh, the first person who won it was Kurt Angle. The second one was Sting. The third one was Samoa Joe. And surprisingly, the fourth one was Mick Foley. <laughs> Uh, number five is AJ Styles, six RBD, seven Jeff Hardy, and eight Mr. Anderson. Jeff Jarrett is not even on that list. He was always my name. Hey, my damn. Was Christian the last one to hold the MWA? I, I think he was the last one to hold it. Yes. I, I, I knew he was around there. Somewhere. You're right. All right. Would you like to challenge that for a potential point or? No, I don't think no. it would be, but I'm just... It, I know we'd I'm both get it, so it, it wouldn't matter. <laughs> I'm not <laughs> sure. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> didn't even think about that. All right. Well, that was round number two. Uh, after the end of question number five, Sean has a score of 14. And Michael has a score of nine. Did I say 14 or 13? You said 14. You said 14. It, should, it should be a four point. I gained one on him. Yes, it is a 13 because he had 12 and got one point. So my bad, 13 to 9. It's a four-point difference. That's what it oh, is. Oh, go make you 14. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we, 
we are ready to go into round number three, our final round of today's match. Uh, this is the finals. This is everything. This is where it all, just we're going to find out who's going to contend for the world championship at Survivor. So round number three, it works like this. It's very uh, familiar with a lot of with a lot of players it's the betting round uh the players are going to hear there's three questions they're going to hear a category and then they're going to place a bet and after they place their bet they will hear the question if they answer it correct they'll get those points if they answer it incorrect they will not get those points extensions can be used um challenges can be used everything can be used i know that these combatants are ready they, they were ready two weeks ago they were ready at the beginning of the tournament um i'm ready i'm just ready yeah, you both have two extensions okay. remaining. All right, okay. so we we are going to go to question number one, category number one, and this is going to be in finishers. All right, take some time to write down that bet there, Michael, the, the distinguished gentleman. All right, and Sean, what do you want to bet? Wait, wait. Oh shit! That's a big match field right there, Michael. I only went two. Oh man! Oh, big match field. All right. So, oh, with that, gonna go long. <laughs> gonna go hey. long. all right. It it may go wrong. It may not. Who knows? But question number one in the category of finishers is as mm -hmm. follows. What is the name of Johnny Gargano's non-submission finisher? You have 25 seconds to gather your thoughts. All right, need answers in five, four, three, two, and one. Pens down. We are going to go to you first, Sean. One final beat. And Michael. One final beat. The correct answer is one final beat. Correct on both parts. That brings, wow, what a risk, eh? Three points. That brings Sean to 16 points. Michael to 11. It's not over yet. We're going to go into question number two of round number three. And this is category. <laughs> oh, man. I'm so sorry, guys. Oh, God, you <laughs> do it again. I have a game. I have. It's location. <laughs> location. <laughs> it is in location, location. <laughs> Take some right down your bets. I'm sorry, there's so many questions. <laughs> it's just like a it's like Christmas for me. All right. Uh Sean, what do you bet? I'm gonna go be point guy. <laughs> and uh Michael, I don't have to guess. I already know what you're gonna bet. You're going all in. I see you're gonna go all in at three. All right. So uh, obviously, you know, uh, if Sean gets this correct and Michael gets this incorrect, Sean is the winner. If Sean gets this incorrect and Michael gets this incorrect, Sean is the winner. If Sean gets this incorrect and Michael gets it correct, they're still in the game. If they both get it correct, however, they are still in the game so now that i got that being said i'm going to go to the question question number two in the category of location location question what city did wrestlemania 3 take place in 25 seconds to gather your thoughts
All right, answers in five, four, so three. Who do you get extension on that? Oh, Sean is going to use his second extension. He has one remaining. Give him some more time. Not a bad move. <laughs> Not a bad move at all. Is it my? Is it my? How the hell do I know where it's going? Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready. I don't need extra. All right. Um, he said he does not need extra. Uh, go ahead. Oh, pins down, uh, Michael. Uh, what do you got, Sean? He keep putting he Pontiac, Michigan. And Michael. It is Pontiac, Michigan. It definitely is. Pontiac. Good job, bud. Good job. Good pull. Uh, I was actually curious who was going to say Detroit. Uh, <laughs> oh, I, I was ready to challenge, bro. You got no idea. <laughs> oh, you know, because if I would have been that would have been yeah. bad. Yeah. I, you want to know why yeah. that would have been really bad? Hmm. I live in Michigan. I knew that right. was because of Oak Hogan's goddamn screw up. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you got the Hulk Hogan to think for that correct answer. <laughs> hey, some good, something good came out of that. A couple <laughs> jokes at his expense and a correct answer in a tournament finals. 17 to 14. We are going to head into the final question of round number three, and this is where it all goes down. The category for question number three is going to be in New Japan Pro Wrestling. New Japan Pro Wrestling. Take some time to gather your thoughts with the bets. Uh, 17 to 14, yes. Yep. Sean, you have 17. Michael, you have 14. Mm. All right. Looks like Michael's ready. Sean, whenever you're ready to announce your bet, go ahead. Um, okay, this will be fun because I know what Michael's bet is. And so if work comes to work, we could be going to a tiebreaker and betting one. All right, and Michael. I didn't come to tie, baby. I came to win. Oh, shit. That is a big dick move if I've <laughs> ever seen one. <laughs> I just really wanted to say that. I heard it from someone else. I think it was the showdown. I don't know. Three big ones. Ooh. Now, yeah. with this being said, we're going to have, yeah. we're gonna have a winner no matter what. Anyway. <laughs> we will have a winner no matter what. So I'll break it yeah. down for everybody. Yeah, um, just wear that. <laughs> if Sean gets this correct, he wins. Uh, if Sean gets it incorrect, and Michael answers it correct, then Michael wins. If they both get it incorrect, then Sean will win the game. Uh, question number three. In the category of New Japan Pro Wrestling, question. Who won the IWGP Intercontinental Championship at Dominion 2014? <laughs> time to gather your thoughts. Sean, you have one extension. Michael, you have two. 2014 now. Okay. Yeah, it would have been before. So it is possible. I'm gonna need answers in five, four, three, Two, one, hands down. Michael, good luck if you're not a good new Japan is better than mine. <laughs> we'll see, buddy. I don't know. All I'm right. Have them all. Uh, and Michael. I guess Tetsuya Naito. The winner of this match, and moving on to. 
Survivor as the new number one contender for the Undisputed World Championship and the winner of the very first World Contenders Tournament, Sean Bradman! Good job, Sean. The correct answer is Bad Luck Fale. Hey, no, never pull on that. He beat Shinsuke Nakamura for the title. Wow, that was an incredible match, guys. Thank you both. Oh my gosh, Sean. Good. Great job. Show you what we've been. Can we get? The bad, bad luck folly. Bad luck folly. Yeah, member of the Bullet Club. I, I, I do know him. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. Well, that was our finals. Uh, we're going to go to our winner now. Um, the, the, the person who wins this match, we're going to go ahead and bring you up, Sean. How are you feeling? You came in here. I know a lot of people don't know this. You were under the weather a couple days ago. We were looking at rescheduling, but you came. You said you're good to go. You're ready to fight. You came into the finals, and you pulled out the victory. Congratulations. How are you feeling? Um, I, I really can't be. I don't, I don't understand this. I can't be. I genuinely don't. I tell you, when I saw the categories that Michael would pick for this match, WCW, the such broad categories, I didn't think I had a chance in this match. And, and you, you know something? On this regard, I. I had a promo all prepared based on me losing this match as to who I wanted to challenge next. But no, that's all out the window now because I'm, I'm, I've got a championship match. I, I, I'm, sorry, I'm just dumbfounded right now because I don't. I don't know how this is real. And then, yes, I was, I was under the weather. To, to be honest, I wasn't feeling that well just before we came on. But I thought I'd show you through. And then I've won. And I'm not sure this is real. But, yeah. uh, great match by Michael. Um, honestly, and and any other day you probably would have been. Yeah. But, um, the, the, they apparently, be. somebody likes me. So, yeah. So, okay, so I'll see you all next. Um, in the camping gear match. Probably get yeah. my house kicked like I should have done today. Well, hey, Ooh. you didn't get your ass kicked. You won, today. brother. <laughs> you came in and you won. Uh, congratulations again, Sean. Very, very well played match. Uh, you were on the. You were losing after the first uh, round. Uh, you were behind. Uh, you came back in round two, Michael. Uh, you're definitely, obviously, not a loser. Uh, Everything was fine in round one. I you you did have a miss. Uh, you had an unfortunate round two. I think uh, if anything, uh, it's it doesn't even need to be said. That's probably what was the main uh, thing that happened in this match that cost you to not come out with the victory. Uh, with with all that being said, uh, how are you feeling right now? And or uh, is there anybody specifically that you are ready to go one on one with? Now that the pressure of the tournament is off of your shoulders. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I you summed it up perfectly. Round two was my enemy this time around. Uh, and it really sucks because there were categories that I picked. Uh, the the WrestleMania thing, like 15 minutes of that match, eh, crap shoot, 2000 was all over the place. Uh, the ECW one, I'm going to kick myself for days. I, I could not remember that match to save my life. Uh, and, and that was the difference. I mean, all of a sudden he's up five points on me and it's like, holy, you know, I'm going to have to start betting threes in the finals. And it just, you know, had to, had to take a stab in the dark. Uh, all respect to Sean. 
I, you know, he is unfairly down on himself a lot, I think. I, you know, he won this thing. He blazed through it. He proved he's got all the knowledge and he's got every shot in the world against either Maddie or Liam. We'll see coming up here. Uh, I wish him all the best. I'll be pulling for him. Uh, as for myself, you know, anybody, I, I think I've proved that I'm up in the higher caliber of this league. I hope so, at least. Uh, so I'm ready for anyone. Nico, we've never done a one-on-one, -on -one, buddy. You feel you feel froggy? Let's do it. The dude, I'll answer the open challenge. If you want to put it on pay-per-view, let's do that. <laughs> whatever, whatever you feel like. I'd love another rematch with Brandon. Brandon took me to my limits. Let's do an Iron Man. That'd be awesome. Uh, but yeah, I'm just I'm just ready, man. Oh, you're just gonna as as someone who thinks about this subconsciously, you're just gonna just give me fuel to think about saying all those things. <laughs> <laughs> uh, great, uh, great job indeed. Uh, even though, yes, uh, uh, you will definitely you are 100 percent a high caliber player in this league. Uh, <laughs> definitely, uh, semi finalist in the first ever world contender, uh, finalist in the in the first ever world contenders tournament. Yeah. Uh, both of you, a uh, very, very big match feel for me it, as as someone hosting. Uh, this is a great match. You know, CWT Undisputed, you know, the, the title is yes, kind of played off of the championship match where, you know, it's an undisputed world championship being, uh, you know, being challenged for. However, it, that's not the only meaning for Undisputed. You know, CWT Undisputed isn't just about being an undisputed champion with the belt. Yes, that is a big thing. It's our world championship. Uh, however, it also, the whole meaning behind this tournament and everything that went, a, a lot of things that uh, Sean touched about on his promo beforehand, you know, this is, it's almost like this tournament was an undisputed way to crown not only the number one contender, but the most the the person that wasn't looked at the blind contender because the way this league was before was you didn't really get an opportunity to shine uh so much like sean said he killed it in his first match he had to wait 10 months michael turner killed it in his first match and won a championship and after losing the championship against you know matt rosa he lost the workhorse championship and after that he nothing happened you know, this tournament it was an undisputed way of bringing back all of these old players, new players, good players, great players, champion players. And that's what this was all about. Congratulations, Sean. You're the tournament winner. You're the champion of this tournament. You are the first ever World Contenders Tournament winner. You are the number one contender for the combat wrestling trivia undisputed world championship and speaking of that our next match is the main event of the evening it is matthew rosa versus liam crowley for that title unification match so thank you guys for competing thank every thank you everyone for watching uh be on the lookout for michael turner he is definitely going to be making some appearances in some matches i guarantee that sean is going to be, like we just said, contending for the title. So from CWT, Combat Wrestling Trivia, the World Contenders Tournament, thank you for watching, and we will see you in just a few minutes for match number three of Undisputed.